Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, we are going to learn how to animate a run cycle in After Effects with Twig Basil plugin. So for that, this is the illustration we are going to use in this lesson. And this is how I have separated the layers in Adobe Illustrator to prepare the file for animation. Okay, so now let's jump into Adobe After Effects and start with the rigging process. Okay, so here you can notice few circles over the illustration. We have added these circles totally for the rigging purpose. So this purple colored layers are the reference layers. And let's start with the arm rigging. Let's select the arm one structure layer, solo it. And then let's select the reference layer, arm one and forearm one reference layer and solo it as well. After that, let's select this in order arm and then forum after that come over here in twig then click on create structures then click on arm now you can notice that the structure layers are created exactly at this particular position this arm layer anchor point is exactly at this particular reference and then this forum anchor point is exactly at this particular reference and if we add any point over here for hand then that would be this anchor point would have been repositioned over here directly but right now this forum and hand is in a single layer so we don't need it anymore so we are going to manually place it and this arm tip we are going to place it over here after that, select the structure layer of arm and parent it with arm structure forum, parent it with forum structure and then select the structure layers. Go inside the links and constraints, click on auto rig to rig the arm. Right now, you can check the arm is rigged. So we're going to do the same for the arm to as well. Let's select this structure layers and put it above this structure illustration layers. Now after that, let's select arm two, four and forum two, solo it and then again solo the reference layers and then select it in order. Then come over here in create structures. Then again, click on arm to create arm structure. So this is also been created in order. Okay, so the arm 2 is also rigged in the similar process. So right now let's unsolo it. And after that, I would like to select arm 1 and arm 2 structure layers and parent it with the body layer so that if we move the body, these shoulders move together. Alright, now we are going to select these arms structure layers, this hand structure layers, turn off the visibility and shy it out. Same with this one, turn off the visibility and shy it out because we don't need to see these structure layers anymore. And we can even delete this reference layers of arms. So right now we are going to rig the legs. So let's select the leg layers and solo it and also select the reference layer in the proper order and solo it as well. After that, go to create structures and this time we are going to select the leg structures to create leg structure layers. So you can see the thigh is over thigh and this one is over this one and the foot is exactly at this point. But we need to rearrange this toe because we haven't added any reference layer for that. After that, we are going to put this hill at this point. Let's select the structure layers and put it above this foot illustration layer. And let's parent thigh one with this one, this one with this one, and this one with this one. Select the structure layers again and go to links and constraints. Click on auto rig to rig it. Let's check the rig. Now, if you see this kind of thing happening that is bending in opposite side, you can fix it very easily. Just 
come over here in effects controls panel select the controller uh, foot controller and then under ik foot you will get an option called reverse just tick it and you are going to see that it's been the bending has been reversed so now we are going to follow the same process for foot 2 as well so let's select the leg 2 layers and solo out the layers So right now the leg 2 is also rigged. So let's delete this reference layer. We don't need it anymore. And after that, select thigh and thigh 2 structure layers and parent it with the body layer. And after that, select this leg structure layers and turn off the visibility and shy it out. All right. Now we are going to select the body. Let's solo it up move the anchor point exactly at this point select the head solo it out move the anchor point at this point we're going to parent head with the body layer and this right now if we move this body layer everything is moving together now this character is fully ready to animate so let's proceed with our animation so now before starting with the animation press ctrl plus r to turn on the ruler and we are going to put a ruler exactly at this point where the foot is touching the ground all right now select the foot let's start with this foot animation so let's lock up the rest of the layers for now so Open the position property, put a keyframe, open the rotation, put a keyframe and then we are going to move this foot and put it exact slightly at this side. So this is the first contact pose of the foot. Let's move the body down a bit. All right. Now we are going to even rotate it in this side. Let's give it minus 25 degree of rotation. Let's jump on to next 20 frames. So this is where the cycle of the run cycle is going to end. So we are in 30 frames per second and we have taken 20 as the whole cycle of the run cycle so a typical run cycle takes around half a second we have taken extra few frames for this one now after that we are going to jump on to exactly at the middle let's jump on to next 10 frame and we are going to move this foot at this side and we are going to select it and move it above as well like this uh, let's rotate it in this side. All right, so we are going to rotate it even further. Now let's select the keyframes and simply easy as it. So now let's jump on to in between these two keyframes. So let's jump on to next five frames. And we are going to split the dimension for this one. Let's easy as the keyframes. And we are going to copy the y axis value and paste it over here. And uh, let's give it zero degree of rotation. So, right now you can see a smooth curve like this. Right now, we are going to jump on to next two frames or three frames. And let's select and move it over here, somewhere around here, so that it is crossing this point. Let's jump on to the next previous one and let's give it a curve like this. So before that, let's move it even further.
all right now we are going to fix this part because you can see this is crossing the crown so we don't want that all right we are going to fix it over here as well and here it is perfect okay so from here from exactly at this midpoint we are going to jump on to next four frames and then we are going to bring this curve down a bit and slightly round up so that it fix doesn't crosses the ground after that we are going to jump on to next two frames from here and let's pull it up a bit and after that we are going to jump on to next three frames from here and let's pull it above a bit so with this we have got a smooth curve like this over here so for a run cycle always aim for a smooth curve like this even though the type of the curve may vary depending on the illustration style but aim for a smooth curve now we are going to select this point this three keyframes exactly at the midpoint at this 10th frame press and hold the control key and double click on it to change it to roving keyframe after that let's check out the animation all right so now from here after two frames we are going to give it zero degree of rotation so that it is flat on the ground now let's check our animation here it's looking nice so now we are going to put loop expression in these properties okay copy this loop expression and paste it in this properties as well after that we are going to copy this keyframes and then select unlock this foot two and paste it over here as well after that we are going to offset this foot two by 10 frames so that it is exactly at the middle and right now it is completely looking like a run cycle now we are going to animate the body of this character so now we are going to select the body and put a keyframe on position as well as on rotation as well now we are going to parent the ha hand controller layers with the body layer as well so after that press u to open the property with keyframe now we are going to bend the body a bit in this side because when we run we slightly bend in the forward direction a bit so we are going to bend it by 12 degrees all right now after that let's jump on to next five frame and pull up the body and slightly bend it backwards a bit so let's bend it by six degrees and let's select the keyframe and easy is it now after that let's jump on to next five frames again and copy the initial keyframes and paste it over here so let's copy the loop expression and paste it this properties and slightly offset it by one or two frames and even the rotation as well let's check our animation yeah it's looking completely fine now we are going to copy these rotation values and paste it over here in the head so we are going to change the head values a bit in the midpoint we are going to even rotate it more in this side now let's offset the keyframes of the head from the body by two frames and let's check it out all right now we are going to animate the hand as well so put a position on the hand keyframe at this point and then again 
jump on to next 20 frames sorry 10 frames and at this point we are going to move the hand this side and at this point we are going to move the hand this point as well and after that let's curve the motion path so let's easy the keyframes and then let's jump on to next 20 frames and copy the initial keyframe and paste it over here but when you copy a keyframe and paste it you will see something like this this curve get reversed so we need to manually fix it now after that copy the loop expression and paste it over here in position copy the keyframes after that select the hand tool open the position property move the playhead at this point exactly at the midpoint at the 10th frame and paste it over here so right now the hand is also animated all right i think uh, we can change the hand position a bit it is looking a bit odd and let's jump on to next five frames and let's make it straight a bit after that again jump on to next five frames make this straight and then copy the initial keyframe and paste it over here and let's fix this motion path all right now let's copy this keyframes and paste it over here this keyframes is going to replace that one all right now it is looking better okay so like this you can animate a run cycle in after effects with twig bezier plugin so do try it on your own and do let me know if you have any doubt regarding the lesson so that is it for this lesson if you liked it then make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubt regarding the lesson make sure to comment down i will be happy to help you out and if you are here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates until then goodbye